Here's a blog question. Why should I buy a System Blue V3 pad rather than another practice pad? Because the Oakland Raiders said so. Uh, no, I just had to get a little glory in there. We're four and one. We haven't been that in like decades, so it's a good thing. Um, you can pick whatever pad you want. Seriously, I mean, that's why there's a lot of pads out there. You know, what feels right for you, what feels good for your hands. I mean, all I can tell you about is my pad, the, you know, the System Blue V3 pad, the Scott Johnson signature pad. We wanted it to feel like the heads you play on today. You know, obviously everybody loves the rim effect on, on the off-world pads, so we kept the rim on it. Um, kind of jazzed it up a little bit with some graphics here and there. We got a little patch on it too for a little bit tighter Kevlar sound, Kevlar feel. And um, I mean, you should buy whatever pad makes you feel better. You know, I, I always say whatever pad you're gonna play on, make sure it's got the same tension or same feel that you're gonna have when you're playing on whatever drum you're playing on, because that's, what you should be doing, practicing on that same type of surface, if you can't play on a drum all the time. So what pad should you buy? You should buy a snare drum and use that all the time is what you should do. But because we can't do that, find something that's the closest thing to it. Good luck to you.